welcome to my new series, Recording a Recorder. So, to follow along, you'll need a recorder. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and enjoy it. So, C is just going to be this little thingy and this little thingy. So you have your thumb covering the hole in the back and this finger goes on the first hole. So C will sound like this. And you may recognize that from my little melody earlier. So, practice playing C. And another thing I might add is that when you play any note, you always want your fingers to look like this. So, um, the correct way to learn is this, but I find the other way more comfortable. So, you're going to want to hold it like this. So, this pinky finger on your left hand goes at the bottom, and then you pull, then, then you put them this way up, right? So, now that you have them this way, it goes the next two. So, this pinky finger isn't used. Just like this thumb isn't used. The thumb on this one is covering the back hole. And if you don't cover it, it sounds something like this. So that thumb is very important. It's also important that you have your fingers covering the holes all the way, unless the note says otherwise. Otherwise, it can sound like. So you don't want that. You want them all the same, all on correctly. So now after you've practiced doing this, How you play A is the same as how you play B, except for one difference. You see this finger? It goes on. That is the only difference. So A is going to sound like this. So as soon as you learn another chord or uh, note, you can play, you can actually play rhythms like So that is a really cool part about learning your next note. And now another thing I might add is while you're playing, can you kind of hear the difference in the notes? Like, you hear that little, you can tell that there's, I'm not playing. So you don't want to go like this. You don't use your air. You don't stop your airflow. You just make the, t -t -t. you make that motion with your tongue, which stops the airflow so you can play the next note. Now you're going to want to do this when you're playing all notes except for something that we'll discuss later later on in the series. So instead of going like this, you can make the nice so that is a crucial part of playing the recorder. So practice that and you'll do great. same thing as the other ones. The only difference is, yet again, add another finger. And now you want to remember all the techniques, and you can play that little song I showed you. So, I'm going to have to teach you a little bar music to do this, but you can read, once you read bar music, you can play that song. Or, I'll just show you. So, for the first part, you play A once, so so you play that once, and then you play it again, and then you lift this finger up to play B. So those three notes repeat twice. So it'll sound like this. Okay, on the second one, you actually want to play A thrice instead of twice, or to make it sound better. So after that, here comes the tricky part. After you're done practicing music. So you go, so two A's, and then you go down. So you play two A's and then two G's. So after those four notes, what comes next is you turn back to A, play it twice, 
and then after that you hit B. So now I should teach you about half notes, because half note, this is a half note right next to it. So after that, this half note, it goes on for the beat of two quarter notes, so that's like ta, ta, ta. So like quarter notes is this. So two quarter notes play together or sound like this. So as long as it takes for those two quarter notes, you're gonna play the half note, but you're not gonna play that separating ta between. So it's like, like that. And this is a very fast tempo song, so it'll normally be slower. So when you have that ready, you can play that. So after that, it goes back up to B, except it quickly goes down it quickly goes down to here. That's because there's an eight note, which takes up half the time of a half note. So the song, so so far the song kind of sounds like this. I messed up. So the song sounds like this. So as you can see, I come down quickly to play G, and then after G, I lift up all my fingers to play B, and then after I, well, almost all my fingers, still at this one. So after I do that, I'm going to put this finger down and this finger down. And I want to hold this for a really long time because there's some fermata above it. So just basically hold on to it longer, and it's a half note. So that is the end of the song. And if you've made it through this video, if you played a song, congratulations. Don't forget to like and subscribe.